Sega. Welcome everyone. I'm doing a let's play of um, Sonic Generations. <clears throat> I'm just doing a test here. If you guys like it, I will actually make an entire series of this game. I will do a let's play uh, showing off every single stage and I'll have a commentary over this video. Um, my first initial uh, reaction to this game is it's great. It's definitely something that you should buy. I bought the uh, PC version. Um, it looks like an Xbox 360 version because I am using the uh, gamepad for PC. So we're starting off with this stage. Um, you do get a sense of speed. I mean, it, it's amazing. And you have like these little uh, stunt rings, as you can see here. Um, there are multiple paths within each level. Um, that's something that's been true to Sonic games since the beginning. Um, this game plays very, very well. Uh, this is the modern uh, Sonic level. Uh, you do have to collect these red uh, rings. I believe there's five in each stage. I uh, don't know what they uh, get you, but somebody mentioned Chaos Emeralds. It's bullshit. You can actually get it some other way. Um, now, I never owned any of the other Sonic games uh, from this generation. Honestly, the last Sonic game I bought was Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast. Um, I did like Sonic Adventure, didn't really care for Sonic Adventure 2, uh, because they really strayed away from the original formula, and it was all about these side quests and, you know, operating machinery. It was, it was really shitty. Um, this game is all about speed. Finally, Sega finally got this right. Sonic Unleashed, I did play a bit, I never heard it. The day stages were great, the nighttime stages were horrible. So finally we get what it is we want. Uh, this game, I mean this level, I have been sure it's from Sonic and the Secret Rings or something like that I believe. Um, but this reminds me a lot of the first stage from Sonic Adventure. Now there is one big issue with this game, and it's deaths. There are plenty of them, and what you're about to see is I hop onto the second rail and I jump over the cannon. I don't know how the fuck that happened, I did not hit the A button. It just jumped over it. So, um, as you can see, I had to try. Um, it, it, it sucks. There, there are plenty of cheat deaths. Now, the way the rating system works in this game is, uh, based on the speed and the number of times you die, you'll get a rank. If you get an A rank and you never died, you will get an S rank. Um, as you'll see here, I believe I get an A rank because I already died. Um, now there's some other things here. As you can see, now they do have little like carts here. The carts aren't really a problem. I, I, I thought it was unique. I mean, it doesn't stray that far away from the formula uh, because it, you're still ahead. You're going one direction. So, um, and I believe there are other two branches off of this particular path, I have to find the other two. Again, you could boost, it's great. Um, this boosting, I believe it came from the uh, Sonic uh, Unleashed, it was the first time I remember seeing this whole boost thing. Correct me if I'm wrong guys, but that, that's what I believe. Um, the, these side ramps are really awkward, but uh, eventually get used to it. Here we go, we're about to go to cheap death number two. Well, technically I didn't die, but uh, here's another part of this particular level that sucks. We're about to see it now. You get stuck between two fucking walls. Now, I'm sure you could hop back and forth, but yeah, you can see how I suck here. And we go off to more rails. Um, there are plenty of hidden paths. This game will keep you busy if you collect everything. Um, I have to say, visually, this game is amazing. The graphics are extremely uh, nice. I mean, especially the water detail there. I can only imagine what the Nintendo would use to look like. So, here you go, guys. Um, this is my first stage. If you guys like this video a lot, I will actually do from the beginning, step by step. Take care.